Hey screen printers, it's Ryan here with Ryanet, and in this instructional screen printing video, we're going to be screen printing using Green Galaxy's Fusion Mixing System. Now, screen printing with Fusion Mixing System is exactly like screen printing with all of our other Green Galaxy water-based inks. So if you're a fan of Green Galaxy, you're going to be a huge fan of Fusion. We're going to be showing this application on light and dark garments. Let's get to it. Today we have a two-color design using Pantone 400U. This is an uncoated color, of course, because it's water-based and that's a light gray essentially. We're gonna be using that as our outline or outer color. And then we also have the Ryanet Pantone, S-Rock Pantone 368. So we'll load up the screen. We're actually printing this through a 230 mesh screen because it's either a reduced or light gray going on a dark garment later, or because the ink's thin as a water base going on a light garment, we don't need a lot of opacity using gray. So we're gonna be doing two prints with that always leave the screen flooded. You can see how well this ink moves. Great looking print. Nice light gray on white. One awesome thing about Green Galaxy Infusion is if we're going on lighter garments, it does not require any flashing. So we can put the next color right down, which is going to be our Pantone Green 368. Load the screen up and print wet on wet. This ink has an extremely soft hand feel. We're printing this through a 230 mesh as well. Do two passes, and then always leave that screen flooded. Awesome, design came out great. Great Pantone colors, great matches. This ink has an extremely soft hand and feel, so when we wash it or we wear it, we won't feel any ink, it's almost like a discharge, except without the stinky smell. Now we'll show screen printing this on our next level cotton black garment. We're going to start with the gray first again. We're going to use the 230 mesh screen. The reason why we're doing this, we don't need a white underbase when we're printing gray going directly onto black because it's going to be light and gray anyway. So we're going to do that probably three times instead of two just to get a little bit more dense of coverage because it's going on black. Next, we're going to print with a Comet white underbase so that that green really pops. If we printed the green directly onto black, it wouldn't be the same Pantone green. We could have done that with the gray as well, but we don't really care about the gray. We wanted it to be a stress anyway in the background, so that's why we didn't do an underbase. This is gonna be just like using Comet White for any other Pantone underbase. So we're using the Green Galaxy Comet White. Just load up your screen. We'll do a flood up. We're gonna do pushing and we're gonna do two solid prints. We're using a 110 mesh for Comet White because we want more ink to go onto the garment. That actually looks pretty bright, especially without flashing and hitting it again. So we're gonna go ahead and flash it so that we can put the overprint on it, but we don't have to do two coats of white as that underbase. Green Galaxy Fusion and Comet White flash typically in about five to six seconds. You wanna get them flashed so that they're dry to the touch. So that's not dry to the touch. A little bit longer. A forced air flash dryer does work a little bit better in this scenario. All right, that's exactly what we're looking for. For the overprint, we're actually going to be using a 156 mesh screen. We could use a little higher, like a 200 or a 230, but 160 mesh does allow us to actually get a little bit more ink transferring down on that opaque white underbase. So we'll flood up. We do want a good amount of off contact for our overprint, and then pretty soft pressure when we're overprinting. Two hits should be fine. Do a flood, Let's see our result. Wow, that came out great. A nice pop in 368 green on that common white underbase. Nice faded gray background, exactly how our customer wanted it. Now to cure this, we do have to cure this like any other Green Galaxy ink. We typically recommend 90 seconds to 120 seconds in a dryer. Forced air dryers work best. You can use a flash dryer, but it's a little bit more difficult. And if you don't have the best conveyor dryer or flash dryer, you can also add warp drive into the ink to really lower that curing point so that all you have to do is really dry the ink. So start mixing and printing with Green Galaxy Fusion Mixing System today on our website by going to screenprinting.com. Thanks a lot for watching Screen Printers, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome screen printing videos.